Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Today we're talking about your hair type, which is fine, but curly or wavy. I like to think of you guys as combination skin, where you have an oily scalp and your ends are usually dry. It's really thirsty, but it can't handle anything heavy. And it's usually brittle, but it needs some nourishment. So lots of <laughs> confusing contradictions there, which I understand why it's hard to pick products for your hair. And it's usually a lot of trial and error. So I'm gonna start with your shower regimen and then things you can style with. So everybody needs to start with a clarifying shampoo at least once a week. I love the Unite Weekender. It's gentle, especially with your fine texture. It's not gonna dry it out. Um, and it's still good to use once a week and it's gonna clean off your scalp from any buildup or mineral buildup and then clean out your, your cuticle with all the product buildup that you've done from the few days before. And then, even though you shampooed with that, you're gonna shampoo again with a regular shampoo and conditioner. And my go-to, if you are curly, like truly curly, and you just need hydration, but it can't be heavy, I really love the Boing Shampoo and Conditioner from Unite because, first of all, it smells like oranges, <laughs> but because the hydration is coming from citrus, it's not heavy at all. You'd be surprised how how nourished your hair feels, but not heavy. So I love this one. If you like something with a little bit of a creamier texture, more pure hydration with a, with more um, smoothing a little bit, then I would do the seven second shampoo and conditioner. And this one does have a little bit of keratin in it, but not much. And then if your hair is very processed, blonde, um, or just a lot of color, then I would use the Reunite Shampoo and Conditioner. And the reason you have all these options is because they all are lightweight moisture. They're not heavy smoothing at all, and they're not drying because they don't volumize. So they're good middle of the road. It's more just deciding what you want to treat. So like I said, if you're naturally really curly and can't handle really anything heavy at all, I would start with a Boing. If you feel like you're fine and wavy, but you can handle a little more, then I would do the seven second shampoo and conditioner. And then if you feel like you need the repair, then I would do the reunite. So that's where I would start. And then once a week, if you are wavy, then you're just more brittle naturally. So I love the reunite mask. This is a great mask to use once a week. You leave it on for like 10 or 15 minutes and your hair will feel so good and it will be prepared for styling products and stay strong. Because if your hair is curly, that means your the elasticity in your cuticle can be compromised. So I'm sure when you were younger, you had a bouncier wave pattern. And as you get older and you've processed your hair, you've used more heat on it, then your wave starts to fall or it doesn't get as bouncy as it did. And that's because the porosity in your cuticle isn't as strong. So you're gonna need to be doing a mask once a week to strengthen that over time to kind of combat the heat that we're doing on our hair. Then when you get out of the shower, first off, normally I recommend the seven second, but for you guys, I'd say the Boing Curl Leave-In. It's very similar to the seven second, but it has a little bit of oil in it. So it has just enough slip. It's a lot easier to detangle and it's more hydrating and you guys need this, but it's not heavy at all. It's just a leave-in. It's just where you start. Then I would recommend the U oil. So if you are blonde, light blonde, and you're wanting to stay away from a yellow oil, you can do the Blonda, right there. <laughs> but the U oil, it's a little bit heavier, still not heavy by any means, but a little bit heavier, and it smells so good. But you wanna put this on your hair mid-strand to ends, and then every night before you go to bed, you wanna pump at least one pump of this in your hands and run it through your dry hair and just run it through your ends. And you'll be surprised how much of a difference that makes day over day with the strength of your hair. And then we move to styling. So this product is so lightweight, but it's just enough to calm your frizz, relax your wave, and give you more control when you're styling without it frizzing. So the Laser Straight Serum, first of all, smells like the beach, smells like coconuts. It's so yummy. But when it comes out, it's clear. I can show you. So it's so thin. I was painting, can you tell? <laughs> um, it's distracting. Some people say it smells like the beach or it smells like cookies. Either way, it's amazing. But this stuff is so light. And what's cool about it is that you don't have to blow dry your hair to get the most out of it. A lot of smoothing products are a lot better when your hair is blow dried. Um, but this one, you could just 
put it on your hair and let it air dry. So if you're if you want your uh, to let your waves just dry naturally or maybe diffused, then you could do that. And then if you're wanting, I'm gonna wipe this somewhere. If you're wanting to go a step further with um, calming your wave, you can always do the seven second blow dry cream. This really is good for almost every hair type. I'd say just depending on how from fine to coarse that you would need to use less or more. So on anyone who's, oh, it's already open. Um, anyone who's using this who has a fine texture, just start with like a dime size. And this one you are gonna wanna blow dry in, but it's gonna smooth, add moisture. It is such a good product for blow drying and it just gives you a really, really smooth result. And then lastly, when you're styling, um, let's say you did curls or you did your hair straight, for hold, I still like the texturize it. It's not heavy at all. You can use a hairspray, but I would be very light-handed with it just because even though it looks like you have a lot of body, it doesn't take much to get it to just be flat and heavy and then all that body that would work for you is now working against you. So that's why I still like to go with the texture route rather than a hairspray. So texturize is kind of the happy medium and I love this one. And then if you have flyaways or if you like more of a PC texture or just want more control after you're finishing and you're like, oh, like for instance, my curly haired clients usually go to a straightener at the end and it just fries your hairline, it's too much. So if you can get it somewhat smooth, don't touch it, and then go in with a paste. This is the second day from Unite. You can just get a little bit on your fingertips. It's very, very lightweight. It's not gonna make it greasy and just kind of like shape the ones that are bothering you and you don't have to go to heat because everybody trust me is jealous of your texture whether it drives you crazy or not you already have body and it's a fine texture it's really the best of both worlds so i'm sure your hair holds curled pretty well as long as you have the right products leading up to it and it does feel like you need to wash your hair more often but if you start doing this regimen especially with a the clarifying then you're not going to feel like you need it the flip side too is if you're wavy curly, don't go crazy long with your washes. That's my recommendation. I feel like if you're gonna do that, make sure that you're adding in oil every single night because your scalp may progressively get oily, but your ends are just gonna get more and more dry and that's how it gets brittle. So I would use your oil at night, make sure that you're conditioning well if you're gonna go longer than like four days. But regardless, this is just a good habit to have. So. That's it. Everything in this video is gonna be linked in the description and I'll link everything separately and you can purchase that way. And if you have any more questions that I didn't cover in this video, just put them in the comments and I'll answer those directly. And I have lots of other videos based on your hair type, so you can watch those too.